Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the MJX X600 Mini Hexacopter. Uh, this is a pretty cool model. I think the design is just really nice. Uh, I mean, you know, if you've got any of the other, they've got a Nano and a Micro and a Mini, so there's three different sizes and they all have this same kind of design to them, so pretty neat to have all the different size classes in the same look. Um, this does have the LED pods on the front arms and all the the front four are the same color and the back two are a different color so that's a little bit different usually they just do the front two with their own color and then the back four with a different color so kind of unique there uh, and this also has little LED eyes that also light up blue so you've got a bunch of blue in the front and then just two little red in the back um, the battery bay is kind of interesting. There was a screw in here, but I removed it um, because the battery bay it kind of you know locks into place there, so you don't need that screw on there to hold it in place. So you can just open that up and then get access to the battery here. So we'll go ahead and take that out, and it's a, a 2S LiPo, so nice, um, powerful battery, and it is a 700 milliamp hour. Uh, 2S LiPo, the JST plug, and a balance plug. And you do get a wall charger for it here with the balance port, uh, balance plug, you know, charger on it there. Uh, it takes about an hour and a half to charge. Uh, you get about 11 minute and 40 second flights with a 30 second LVC warning, so over 12 minutes total. Um, there are optional prop guards, however, I haven't flown it with those on there. Um, but you know, I would imagine it takes you know 30 to 45 seconds off the flight time probably. Uh, it does come with a full set of spare props as well, uh, and just like I said with the other ones too, you know, it, the, all the props are the same color. Even though you've got the LEDs, I would have liked to see you know either the front two or the back two have their own colors. Uh, because, I mean, especially when you're flying this out in daylight, it's just a bunch of white. I mean, there's it gets really hard to keep your orientation at times. Um, you know, even though the design sort of has this flow to it where, you know, the back legs are really long and stretched out. I mean, when you're looking at it from the side and turning around and stuff, it can get pretty hard to keep your orientation. Um, there are some optional cameras for this, like there's an FBV camera and just a normal camera. Uh, this didn't come with one, but you can buy those separately and attach them onto the, the, the little battery bay here, so that's nice and easy to do. Uh, the landing legs do just pull on and off, but however, there's, not, there's no landing feet otherwise, and you don't want to really land on these because that's a gear right there. And, so you kind of have to have the landing legs on this one. Uh, let's see, so here's the transmitter. It's got the uh, bigger hobby grade style transmitter with actual sticks on it, so that's pretty nice. I like the transmitter. Um, it has this interesting little throttle knob thing here. So you've got this dial that actually controls, so if you turn it all the way down, you you need more throttle for a hover and then as you turn it up it'll get you know more power so you can kind of turn it down if your throttle is a little too touchy or turn it up if you want you know full power as much as you can get so that's kind of a unique option there this is your rates button here and so a little bit awkward when you're flying to try to change rates but you've got three different rates um, and then in, uh, like the other models, when you're in high rates, you've got 100% flip mode. So high rates is kind of unflyable because you're always going to end up accidentally flipping. Um, you do have a, you know, an automatic flip button on the right. If you hit the right bumper, it'll do a forward or backward flip automatically. So there's no, you know, press a button and then move a stick to flip. You've got either just automatic forward and backward or 100% when you're in high rates. So that's a little bit annoying um, but then we've also got when you press and hold the right bumper that'll turn on headless mode and then it's got a return to pilot but you've got to be in headless mode first and then you hit the left bumper and that'll do return to pilot which you know with headless mode being not very reliable that return to home can be pretty unreliable as well so I wouldn't really count on that um, both sticks down to the right will recalibrate the accelerometer. 
Um, let's see. Oh, and this, this transmitter can do every single mode. So you've got these slides over here on the, on the side of the transmitter. So when I change that, so on the down position, it, you know, it's ratcheted and it stays wherever I put it like a throttle should. But when I move that up, now it centers itself. And then I move this one and now that becomes ratcheted. And so now I've got mode one where I've got throttle on the right and then you're self-centering over here and then you can move the aileron and rudder controls with this button so you can do all four modes um, you know however come whatever combination you want so if you're in mode two or you know this is the ratcheted one and this centers if you press the aileron button then it's going to move the rudder to the right stick and the aileron to the left stick and that's mode four and then you know same thing if you're in mode one and whatnot so all four modes are possible with the one transmitter, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So did I, I cover, yeah, I covered flight times and charge time, and yeah, it looks like I covered everything. So yeah, let's go take it outside and check out some flights. All right, this is a flight review of the MJX X600 mini hexacopter. And no camera on this one, though there is the optional Wi-Fi FPV camera, but I just have it stock. I do have the FPV mount on from my 300C, but it's not actually usable for this model. Um, and I did have some range issues with the 300C, so I'm a little bit worried. Hopefully this one does not have the same problem, uh, though I think that the range issues may have had something to do with the Wi-Fi uh, camera so since this doesn't have it hopefully we've got better luck um, same deal with the others this has three rates and you know constant flip mode on high rates so I'll be flying in medium rate so I don't end up accidentally flipping and we've got this little throttle trim dial thing so I've got that all the way 100% so I've got the full throttle and let's give her a go Hopefully no signal loss. And of course the wind kicks up right as I take off. Right bumper is automatic forward flip. But to do any other kind of flips you've got to be on 100% rates. And then it always flips with full stick movement. Which I am not a fan of that. It's flying pretty nice. It's a uh... man. Orientation sure is hard with all white, all white props and everything. I can't really see the LEDs out here in the sun. Pretty slow yaw rate. Yeah, pretty slow on the yaw. This could definitely benefit from some different colored props for the two front ones. I think. It can get pretty hard to tell your orientation out here in the light without being able to see those LEDs. Feels maybe just a touch unresponsive, like maybe there's a little bit of a dead zone on the transmitter. I feel like sometimes it's a little slow to respond to what I tell it to do on the sticks, but it's feeling pretty nice otherwise. Things got quite a bit of pitch. I mean, for medium rates, this thing's moving out. Can't really fly on high rates though, because if you accidentally give full stick input, the thing's gonna flip on you. I am not a fan of when they do that. All right, well, let's uh, fly this way a little bit and see if I lose signal. A little bit worried. Orientation is pretty much impossible right now. Well, looks like I'm at least not losing signal. Let's see if I can get it back to me now. Just fly backwards since I can't really feel safe turning around and knowing where the front is. There we go, no problem. Alright, well, it looks like this doesn't have the range issues that the 300C had at least. I think that must be interference between the Wi-Fi and the 2.4 gigahertz radio signal. So 
Well, that's kind of weird. I would have done more research on that, but um, I didn't. I didn't know that was going to happen until the middle of my flight review. Luckily, this does not have the same problem. I'm I'm quite liking this. Other than feeling slightly unresponsive, it's feeling pretty pretty stable and smooth and powerful. Definitely need to get different colored props for the front though. I'm having a lot of trouble keeping my orientation. Yeah, I feel like I'm really holding back on this too. I can't really let it rip in this area. The thing wants to go even faster than I can. There is a little bit of punch of full throttle. Full throttle, full throttle. Yeah, this thing, this thing wants to get going, man. It's got some, some power. Full throttle. Wow. Yeah, this thing's pretty nice. I'm digging it. And it looks awesome. Just really like the design of it. Let's do another automatic forward flip. Pretty nice flips. Alright, well, I think that was a pretty good demo. Bring her in for a landing. There we go. That is the MJX X600 Mini Hexacopter. Pretty cool looking design and pretty powerful and stable. I, I was having a lot of fun flying this thing. That was pretty nice. Alright, we'll check the uh, video description for price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.